So yeah, this morning when we saw the fin sticking out, we swam over quickly to check if it's alive. Um, we did suspect it was, since the gills was moving and the dorsal fin was moving at the back. Um, and also trying to, to move it closer to deeper waters. Since the tide is going out, you have to watch it so it doesn't breach out completely. But um, as time progressed, within an half an hour, I realized that there's no life in, in, in the whale shark. And especially the fact that the cartilage, it's a cartilage, cartilage uh, skeletal, skeletal structure, it cannot support its own weight. It, uh, it couldn't. Out of water, yeah. it, no, it, so it, it, it kept on drifting as well for some yeah. reason. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, suspected propeller damage. Yes, so we yeah, saw that uh, the strike as well. Them. Yes, um, but put my hands within the gills. Yeah. Um, didn't make any movement. Also, I tapped the eye a bit. No movement. No response. Yeah. So scientifics would come and just take the samples they needed, yes. and then we would take it back to the ocean and let nature take its take course, its course yes. and let the other ones feed from it. That is necessary. Yeah. So we did all that we could now. It is a baby in fact, yes. um, obviously. It can grow up to twice the size if, really? it, if so it was an adult. About nine, ten meters. Yes. So I suspected the, 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 the temperature outside in the ocean this weekend was 8 degrees. Wow. So it got so cold, maybe it went into a numb stage yes. and the tide brought it in, yes. looking for warmer waters. Yes, yes. But it got tired yeah, mm -hmm. and then kept on breaching itself out. Plus the fact you know, with the noise of the, uh, of the motor The noise pollution yes, creates yes. a lot of stress on a baby yes. like that. Um, you'd expect it to be vulnerable yes. and didn't make it. Yes. That's the 